Hi there YouTubers, OK Fixer here. Um, and uh, we're going to uh, do a little bit more work on the beetle. Uh, if you notice uh, right there, there's an empty space and that's where the glove box went. Uh, now, uh, the reason why there isn't a glove box there is it's made out of some material that probably disintegrated many moons ago uh, when it was uh, removed. I, I believe it had a strap around it that held it in place, but it was fibrous. It was not metal or anything like that. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to make a metal glove box uh, in which to house the radio and enough room for some other stuff. So uh, what are we going to make that out of? Well, I've got the rest of this fender skin right here. And we're going to use that uh, with the aid of the measuring device. We will get proper measurements and line that all out and see if we can't make something. So let's get after it. Uh, because the glove box uh, tips down, uh, it's going to be longer at the top than it is at the bottom by about an inch. Uh, and this will give me about a half inch clearance uh, between the plastic uh, plastic plate uh, that uh, covers all the wires and such like that. Uh, and it will also allow me to be close enough to possibly weld a tab on and use that uh, mounting point to secure the glove box in place along with something else. Uh, maybe a strap or something. but. Um, my whole idea is uh, not to drill holes in the body or put screws in the body so in the event that uh, I want to put it back to 100% original uh, I can just remove it so uh, it will not be a welded in fixture or permanent or anything uh, and no harm will come to the body so let's get this mapped out on this piece of steel and uh, we will uh, start cutting because I have not bought another um, rotary cutoff tool uh, after mine died, uh, I will have to use uh, these tin shears. Uh, be careful when you're cutting with tin shears. Uh, that's very sharp. As a uh, side note, uh, I made a little tin box also out of that door and then I uh, screwed my switch to it. And that way I'm not doing this to try to push the and push the button to roll the window down. Whose design was that? So much easier when they're laid out like this. See? See, you can get to them with your finger. See, you don't have to do... Again, General Motors. Yeah been asked a couple of times about why I hop around so much on this Volkswagen going from one system to another and that kind of thing. It's because I have to wait for stuff or wait for parts or discover something that I didn't know. Here's a discovery. Here's a, here's a Count Olaf surprise. Uh, the little plenum that goes up underneath here uh, for air is gone. <laughs> of course. It was sold on eBay a long time ago. Uh, so is this piece, but I, I bought this piece thinking that it was going to be... I didn't look at it too closely. So I was thinking it was going to be all one deal. But it's not. It's two pieces. You have a hose that goes here and a hose that goes there. And then this and that clip together. So I'm missing the bottom piece. And uh, naturally when I got on Samba last night, uh, their server was down. <laughs> It's up this morning, so uh, so I did find the part on on the uh, on the uh, classified in the Samba, and uh, and I did get that. Incidentally, the Samba is an excellent place for parts. Excellent, excellent place for parts. So I have to take out all my switches and my wiper and everything like that because that's got to go in first. So it's 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 all a learning curve. You know, I didn't take this I didn't take this car apart, so I don't know how it goes back together. Uh, but I know there's something that goes in there. <laughs> so, 
I'm doing the best I can with what I got to work with. So right now, let's hammer out this glove box and uh, uh, we'll, we'll make it square or you know rectangular and, and, uh, and, and get it like close to being going in there, right? We'll fit it and such like that. And then we have to kind of walk away from that because <clears throat> I don't have a radio for the car yet, which is going to go in there. So there's a certain amount of room that the radio is going to need to be in there. And then the other is going to be for, you know, maps and such. And I'm going to need a divider of sorts, a metal divider. So, <laughs> yeah. And, and, and so you got to hop around like that sometimes, waiting on people, waiting on parts. Um, probably after I do that, I know this is going to sound weird, but I'm going to work on my wheels uh, because, you know, I can get to them so easy without the, um, without the fenders on. And during this week, I'm going to procure the wood and the cardboard needed uh, for a little Shangri-La here that will slide in and out <coughs> to keep the beetle safe uh, with, uh, uh, from, uh, from bumps and bruises. And uh, I'll show you that later. But for right now, let's, let's uh, concentrate the best we can on with what we can concentrate on, and we'll work on the glove box. I'm using the straight edge of my uh, welding table. Uh, idea so a lot of massaging needs to be done here in order to uh, uh, clear my uh, wiper I had to make a little bend right there my, my wiper mechanism so I made a little bend there uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here uh, uh, this far maybe half an inch three quarters of an inch and then uh, I need a little bit bigger of a lip here I need to add about two inches to this so that's not a big deal because you're not going to see that at the top, you'll just see at the bottom. This will be the inside. Also, it's a good idea before you do this, if you're going to put a unit in it, uh, you know, stereo, make sure that you've got enough room in here. And uh, the unit I'm going to use, I'm probably going to mount it rather high. So I'm going to have about six and a half inches. The unit I'm going to buy is five by two by two, five and a half by two by two. So I'll have a, a half an inch, and you don't want to lay your unit down low uh, because when Junior spills his milkshake in this uh, in this uh, glove box, it'll hold all the liquid, or you know whatever. Someone opens up the glove box and pukes in it, your stereo will be all full of puke. So you want to make sure you have it. <laughs> I've seen a lot, folks. Uh, so you want to have your stereo mounted high and so I'm going to mount my stereo right probably in this area because this will be close to the driver, right? And then there'll be a little, a little space underneath here and, and all this room uh, left for a glove box. So you should be able to do that. We're also going to put some drain holes in there to drain the puke out so, or whatever. Like I said, I've seen it all. Okay, uh, we're just going to tack this together. You want to set your uh, welder for tin cans, not thick stuff. Oh, you got to turn this on first.
see our feed is a little fast, so we'll slow that down a little bit. But you get the idea. We're just going to tack that together for right now. Like I said, we're just roughing this thing out. It's not, uh, it's, it's not our final product, uh, product okay? There's going to be a lot more massaging to do. Because first, uh, like I said before, as a doctor, when you're working on one of these cars, first you do no harm. And so all the factory pieces have to go in there, and then we're going to massage this around there without damaging anything, without putting any screws in it and that kind of thing. So in the event that later on someone or I want to put a fiber uh, or a plastic glove box in it, it's possible. Now I'm going to uh, cut out some end pieces for this, uh, and they're going to be all about five and a quarter, and I'm going to have to kind of cut them long, and then I'll, I'll weld them on, but I, then I'll cut it down. I'll probably end up having to massage that a little bit more. But our end pieces will have some tabs uh, that will fold over, and then that way I can uh, I can weld them. I'm not just using a butt weld. I can I can weld the tab. All right, um, got it up in there, and that seems to be clearing everything. It looks like it's clearing my wiper. Of course, I don't have it positioned, or I don't have it attached in there. Um, here's the mounting bolt and the bolt uh, for the plastic piece that goes in front. I'll have to get a plastic piece to see how that fits. That'll be on my order list. And then... Um, of course, the uh, grab handle has to fit. The pipe that comes uh, across here for the uh, heater outlet has to work. The wiper can't make any, uh, yeah, on that. And you can see, it's just roughed in, you know, so, so it, it looks like hell right now, but uh, I, I think that'll work. That'll work pretty good. Once we get it cleaned all up, tacked all up nice, and fitting in there nice, I can put a piece of foam edge around here, and when I shove it up against there, it will uh, it will seal uh, where I won't have any air, dust, or that kind of thing up in it. Should be all right. It's metal. Uh, I can mount my stereo in it. I can have a ground in it. Uh, I can have a ground in it. Uh, when my ground is disconnected from my battery, uh, my dedicated ground. Um, but that's that has to do with thievery and stealing the car and stuff. Um, why don't I put a stereo in here? Well, uh, what's the words I'm looking for? Um, if you don't see it, uh, it's, it's likely it's not going to be out of sight, out of mind. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, so, you know, no stereo. People don't steal, steal stereos anymore because they're so cheap, but they used to steal them all the time. Uh, I'm thinking about uh, taking the car, uh, making it look very clean inside, and yet still having 
uh, MP3 player or uh, uh, eighth inch jack that I can run my uh, music on or whatever I like I like radio so uh, let's see we're going to uh, leave that in there for the time being until we get some parts and see how they all fit and then probably the next thing I'm going to do is uh, work on tires or rims I should say uh, since I have the fenders off and my brakes are out of the way I'm done with those I, I can take those wheels off and, and repaint them um, I'm not going to do a fancy schmancy job on it um, I'm going to do uh, just a rattle can job on it because when you take it to Walmart or someplace like that, the the, uh, the Abizianki working on your uh, cars will will with their big hammers beat the living dog out of your wheels in your fancy paint job. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, somebody squeezed some tires on here without putting any balance on it, and the reason why they didn't put any balance on it is because they didn't have this. Uh, this 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 plate here. Uh, is is tapped and it allows me to put that wheel on this and then put it on a balancer and balance it uh, to some degree so there you go also uh, we're gonna look at repainting those balance balancing them how the balance ring works and uh, also I want to show you a little trick I learned about checking your wheels and making sure they're not bent so we'll do that next Okay, uh, I put a few more welds into our uh, glove box. Uh, again, it's not pretty, but uh, it is as it is. Uh, you know, we can sand that and, and paint it and we'll look all right. And uh, I'm going to seal that also and uh, drill a couple holes in the very bottom uh, for puke drain holes. <laughs> Sorry, had to say that. Uh, we uh, got some uh, uh, some uh, one buys uh, today, one by two, and uh, uh, I'm not going to do it today because I need to cut some other pieces. Also, I need for a rack for my van, but uh, we got those nonetheless. And uh, so uh, we're going to work on the wheels. This is going to be uh, this this video is going to be. Uh, very kind of convoluted so I try to keep up because I'm, I'm doing it uh, you know uh, what's the word I'm looking for I could I, I, could, I could tell you the right word uh, it's, uh, it's Latin but anyways I'm doing it as it as it comes so uh, so let's move that wood out of the way and I want to show you something on these on these wheels really quick okay what I'm doing here is I'm looking to see if I have a bent rim. Okay, because one, I'm going to paint them. Two, I'm going to uh, balance them. If they're bent, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. And that's how you do it is you can take a, you can use a runout gauge or something like that, but you can obviously see if they're bent by spinning them and looking at them. Now, don't look at the tire because the tires tires are wonky tires are wonky to begin with you want to look at the actual rim and you want to hear if it's all rubbing along on the same same time you know like 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 it's not going rub 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 it's just it's all one one deal one one long song and you can see you can see if those rims are bent and this one's tweaked a little bit. So, what, what, what do I want to do with this? Hmm. I don't know. See here, and here's the dilemma. Here's the dilemma. Somebody's put a new set of frog skins on it. And they are frog skins. Uh, I think they're, uh, you know, they're... They're banjo brand or something. I don't know. Whatever. Nan Kings. Okay. Yeah. Those are, those are those are supreme, excellent tires. You know, uh, we we don't have Michelin's on this or or Pirelli's or a, a, a you know really good brand. Uh, so, you know, what am I going to do? Okay. The balancing's free. 
I gotta have some tires or wheels to support the car. You know, it, there's all these factors. I'm going to look at these tires like that, or these rims, and see uh, how bad they are. Uh, balancing's free to me, so I'm going to take them over and get them balanced. And I'm going to do a little quickie on them, a, a little clean up and, uh, and a quick little spray. Uh, and see how they run. And, and, and if the machine wanders all over the road or vibrates like, uh, you know, like crazy. Well, something's going to have to be done. I'll have to get some other wheels. But there's the tricky part right there. Is these are two year only. I think two years only. Uh, 66 and 67. Possibly just 67. It's highly possible that they're just 67. Uh, the 66 has uh, the moon hubcaps. I think 67. This is 67 only. And the moon hubcaps have the clips. 67 had a little bump right there and they have uh, flat modern hubcaps but they've got a little ridge and and they're different than the 68 hubcaps so uh, yeah it's a one year only wheel so buy new ones uh, try to find try to find straight ones that's a dilemma anyways okay well let's get these and you can take that one off and put it on the front spin it and check to see if it's really wonky. Uh, we're going to do a little cleanup on these and then we're going to uh, balance them uh, because that's what I can do. You know, like I said in the video, this is kind of kind of be weird because it's it's I'm doing the stuff that I can do. Uh, I'm going to just give these a what fur with the uh, wire wheel and uh, do a little uh, Rust-Oleum magic on them, and you know. Here's the deal. Uh, oh, look. Low noise. Oh, that's good. Because you don't want your tire making noise. You know, I, you can buy high no, no, noise tires, too. <laughs> what? <laughs> they have to advertise that. Oh, no, our Nan Kings don't make any noise anymore. That means before, they made a lot of noise. <laughs> oh, my. Ah. Yeah, a genuine VW stamping in here. Uh, 4J by 15, it looks like right there. Uh, so, uh, here's the deal. Uh, Nanking, uh, not the best tire in the world. Uh, rims that are wonky. Uh, gee, am I going to spend a lot of time painting this? You know, probably later on, down the line, I'm going to buy four new wheels. Uh, we'll have four spares. That'll be great. And, uh, uh, you know, four new wheels and uh, mount some Michelins on them or some Continentals or something like that and uh, and be done with it, you know. Uh, you don't have to guess. There's no guesswork. Oh, man, I'll get some big chrome ones, right? Or some wire wire wheels. Oh, some spinners. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm going to buy f four factory wheels if I can find them. <coughs> I'm, I'm sure, they, I'm sure they, they make them somewhere. Okay, uh, let's get after it, and uh, we'll wash her down with a little acetone or some uh, lacquer thinner and uh, tape it up, and we'll throw a little silver on it. I'm going to give her a little tape job there to save up the tire so it's not all silver. So that's pretty simple to do, just, yeah, roll it right around there. Oh no, run! Oh, that's glorious. Look at look at that. Is that beautiful or what? That's nice. Oh, no, run. Oh, another one. Uh-oh. What am I going to do? Lots of runs. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, you're buying a car, right? And somebody says, oh, I just put new tires on it, too. Okay, they put new tires on it. Well, they look new. That's nice, right? Okay, and they got the little... They got the little rubber thing still on them. That's great. Well, uh, look at this here. Uh, every tire has this. It's usually on the outside. Uh, it's where you can read it. Uh, and what we have is 3217. And what that's going to be, 
uh, that's probably going to be March 2nd. It could be the 32 week, 32nd week of 2017. Uh, but regardless, it's, it's 2017. All right, it's during near 2020. All right, so we got about three years on this tire. All right, already. So think about that. Tires five or six years old, and they're on their way out. Uh, you know, just setting uh, the 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 rubber gets old and that kind of thing. Tires have a life, all right. Trust me, uh, uh, my grandfather didn't think so, but. It, it's it's true all right just because it's got tread on it does not make it a good tire <laughs> oh that's a laughable moment right there anyways so uh, if you got to uh, buy a car you know and it's got uh, 10 year old tires on it don't run her down the racetrack uh, for no high speed passes uh, until you get your uh, some new rubber on there in my opinion anyways <laughs> all right That's a great sight right there. Wonderful. Look at that. I could have cleaned them up, but I didn't think you'd mind. No. <laughs> no, I'm happy to get those. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. That's a good sight. Ah, now I can... That moves closer. Now I can move closer, yeah, move forward. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Thanks a lot. <laughs> right <laughs> All right, well, back to the wheels now, yeah. Yeah. I've got them painted, and uh, here's how the wide five balancing ring works. You take the lug nuts and screw it in there. It's a piece of quarter inch steel. It's tapped, threaded for the lug nuts. Then you take your zapper. And then you can put it on a balancer because it's got a hole in there where the little cone will go on there. Okay, so let's go to the balancer. Okay, it looks like uh, she ain't been used in a while, so uh, it's kind of, let's see, one, right there. I'm relatively certain we're going to need electricity, so let's plug that in. There we go. Got any lights? Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's get the uh, let's get the tire on there. Gotta make sure you turn it on. Uh, this first measurement. Uh, this is in. Yeah, this is in German. Let me think here. Uh, this is going to be, um, oh, they've got pictures. So it's going to go uh, from uh, the inside of the point to the inside of the point of the wheel, which is uh, four and a half, I believe. Let's see here. Sorry for screwing that video up. Yeah, four and a half. So you set the first one to four and a half. Uh, yeah. Four and a half, okay, and then the second one is going to be uh, between your fat points on your wheel or your tire, right there, and that's going to be uh, six and a half. So that's uh, six and a half, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, fifteen on the uh, on the uh, on the wheel, yeah, on the, on the, the size of the wheel. Okay, um, you see we have our our little adapter there. That's how that works. All right. Let's give her a look. Make sure there's not any rocks in it because we don't have a, a uh, any kind of protection. <laughs> and then you push a green button and see what happens. There she goes. Okay. Uh, inside 25, outside 75, and it'll give you the point uh, where it needs to be. Actually. I think I'm doing this wrong. Yes, I am. Uh, inside is going to be... Um, I've got this measurement wrong. Uh, that's what this is for. Uh, it's going to be, what, 11 and a half? So let's change that. That's going to make a big difference. Okay. And 
then the outside is going to be I don't think it's the width of, maybe it's the width of this. I'll try several different times and, uh, and see what I get as far as the, uh, the weight on this and uh, see what's right. If it's outrageous weight, then you're not right. Can you see it? Okay, they want 125 grams and 35 more grams weight on this. Uh, both of these wheels were the same way, uh, the two that I'm working on right now. And uh, I, can't, I can't make it correct. Uh, and if you watch it spin, you've got something wonky with the wheel or the tire. So, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm not balancing these. Uh, I'm gonna paint them and put them on the car and I'm not gonna drive the car for a, a year so we'll just let the dead bury the dead. You know, uh, I'll eventually get some decent tires and rims. Uh, that's what I thought is these wheels and these rims would be really wonky. Uh, just from what I spun. So now I know. I wanted to see how this uh, metal plate works. So uh, we're going to take these off and, and go back home and not worry about balancing these because they're not worth balancing. Well, we're back here. Uh, there's not too much you can do. Um, I didn't like those tires to begin with. Uh, so we'll. You know, we use, well, I'll have four spare tires. How about that? Yay. Uh, I have to find, the, the trouble is, is these are, are one year only uh, because of the hubcaps. Yeah, I can get wide fives or something. I, I might end up having to go and get <laughs> chrome ones or something like that. So, excuse me, I just shivered. Uh, uh, so it, it is what it is. What are you going to do? Uh, originally, I was going to paint them silver. Uh, I painted well, one of them silver. I thought that looked atrocious, so I got, got some white instead and painted it white. Uh, so, you know, it's nothing, uh, nothing that uh, giant handfuls of, of cash can't cure. So, uh, so it's, just, it's just another thing on this car. Uh, you, you expect uh, absolutely nothing and get it. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm going to wind this up, and uh, uh, the, these videos have gotten an hour or so, you know, and I, I want to try to keep them to about 20 or 30 minutes. Uh, they're a little bit more viewable, I think. So uh, thanks for coming into my garage, and uh, thanks for grooving on the Beetle, and uh, we'll see you next time. All right.